The North East is once again holding the National Premier League Tennis Finals, but why is it in Sunderland? Some of the country's best male players will be arriving at the Virgin Active Centre at Doxford Park for the tournament. From US Open junior runner-up, Liam Brody and Davis Cup teammate Dan Evans, to lesser known athletes. The best from 70 clubs from all over the country will be competing at the city's prestigious four-day event. Event organiser Mike Dixon tells us more about the competition. Uh, we were here last year at uh, Virgin Active uh, we decided, and after running the event for the last 12 years um, it was just a fantastic venue uh, to host this event. Uh, it was the best one in the, in the 12 years and uh, it was a natural choice to bring it back to uh, Virgin Active Wearside and uh, in combination with Sunderland Tennis Centre. The city's uh, strategy is to attract major events uh, to the city uh, for the next five years in, in conjunction with uh, the, uh, the football club and uh, the director of events for Sunderland Live, a brand new events company for specifically set up for the city. It's coming along in half an hour to discuss uh, the next few years. One man who will be in attendance over the course of the event is George Donnelly, competition delivery manager for the Lawn Tennis Association. So why have the ATA chosen to back this tournament? Uh, this is one of uh, a number of tournaments which happen in the winter. Um, it's a great opportunity for people to compete in team events. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been, we've been backing it for about five or six years, working with Mike Dixon. Um, and obviously it happens throughout the winter event as a league competition and then ending up in a final spectacle here. Uh, what's the LTA's involvement in Sunderland? We run a number of events uh, in Sunderland, um, right from your sort of pro series, which is just lower level world ranking events, um, hold one in March and in May here, all the way down to some grassroots events, going into schools events as well. How do Sunderland's facilities compare to other venues? Um, uh, obviously, uh, there's a number of good facilities here in Sunderland, um, the Sunderland Tennis Centre, Virgin Active Wearside, a number of indoor court divisions, um, and some park sites. So I'd say it's probably um, quite well placed to be offering good tennis facilities um, in this area of the country. With all that in mind, the Premier League finals are now a major highlight in Sunderland's sporting calendar. With an £8,000 prize fund, it's plain to see why so many players will want to be on top of their games this weekend.